How to get started with Trust plus RT. Part 2. Setting up Trust Types. This part is useful for structural engineers, architects, modelers, BIM managers. In this part, we'll be explained how to create new Trust Member Types and to create new Trust Types. You will need Autodesk Revit 2013 or 2014 with Trust plus RT installed, Project with Trust plus RT, families loaded. For how to do that, see part 1. So, as we've prepared our project for with loaded trust types and we've, we've built our roof, now we can start with, we can modify our required trust types in a project. So, first off, let's go to Tools for Revit tab in Revit ribbon. Let's drag Trust Plus RT menu for better usability and let's go to the configurations menu and trust database manager and here we have our trust types in a project so we have two types of trusses in trust plus rt one is wood trusses we can see that in type comments on the right of this dialog box Another one is metal truss. We can see that in type comments on the right in this dialog box. And we have separate categories of trusses. For example, common, scissors, gable end, mono pitch, special multi type, hip end, jack, corner girder, and valley. All these can be modified separately or we can create new types for all of the trusses. To create a new trust type, we should select the trust type we want to modify, go to the type configuration and see which structural framing type represents the cords, webs of our trusses. So here we have a family name which we can find in our project browser. To create new Trust, structural trust types, we need to create new structural framing types with corresponding name in project browser. So now we can go there. Let's find these structural framing types. So here they are. We have M trust wood cord family and M trust wood web family. Let's expand it and we have a type of structural framing under our structural framing name. So let's press right mouse button and create a new type. For example 40 by 100. Let's do the same with our web family. Let's create new type 40 by 100. So we have new structural framing types. As we created the new types for our structural framing, we need to modify. As we created new types for our structural framing members, we need to define the parameters. So let's press right mouse button on the type we want to modify and go to type properties so as we created our structural framing member type 40 by 100 these parameters should be entered into corresponding lengths of our structural framing so we have a height of 100 and let's write it in our value and 40 over here and let's press OK. Let's do the same with web structural framing. And let's press OK. 
Now we can go to configurations menu, trust database manager, and we cre can create the new type for our trusses. Let's press create new type and we can see our type configuration dialog box has become modifiable and we can select different structural framing families for our corresponding structural trusses members. Our type name is created automatically. Let's press create. We've got confirmation message showing that we successfully created 15 new types for our structural trusses. Let's press OK. We can create new truss types exactly the same for metal trusses. If we want to create new types for particular trusses, we can go to the particular type of truss and create family for it. No truss types would, will be created in other truss categories. Let's press OK. So that's the end of this part. AJ CAD, Lean Thinking Company.